And now for something completely different, the Rupert Neve Designs Fidelis Digital to Analog Converter. I've never actually experienced anything remotely like this DAC. You know, well, let's start at the beginning. It's a Rupert Neve based design, right? Rupert Neve was legendary in, for his uh, skills as making recording studio equipment, meaning consoles, compressors, all, all kinds of things, but I guess most famous for the consoles. He was such a big deal at least in the mind of Dave Grohl from Nirvana and Foo Fighters, he made a documentary called Sound City. Now, Sound City was a recording studio based in Van Nuys, California, and everybody recorded there, you know, Nirvana, but Fleetwood Mac, I mean, everybody, the Stones, everybody was there at some point, and it was a really big deal. Funky, funky studio, but just had the sound. It had, it had exactly what rock musicians wanted. It was a big deal. But it went out of business. And when it did, I think it was in the 90s, Dave Grohl bought the Neve console. So he made this documentary called Sound City. It's all about the console and the studio. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a good piece of uh, documentary work. And um, all that is background for you guys. That Neve, the name Neve, is a big, big deal in pro gear. A few years ago, they started making consumer well, audiophile-oriented products, first a headphone amplifier. And starting in this year, 2019, they brought out this DAC and an upgraded version of the headphone amplifier and also a phono preamplifier, all in this Fidelis line. So I requested the DAC. And, you know, based on what I just said, this is a, this is a slam dunk uh, concept to make a, a, a video review of. But not until I opened the box and live with this product did I understand just how different it really, really is, just certainly in terms of its feature set. First of all, it has analog inputs, RCA and XLR analog inputs. Now, my first thought when I saw those was, yeah, but it has a analog to digital converter inside the chassis and converts everything to digital because it is after all a DAC. But no, that's not true. This DAC lets analog be analog. So it's analog from input to output. And yes, there are class A preamplification stages, the legendary Neve circuit between input and output. Bingo, different and better, I would say, right? Okay, so that's a huge difference. But it's also a headphone amplifier. Now, there are other DACs that are headphone amplifiers, but again, it's, it's based on the Neve circuit for the amplifying part of the headphone amp. And it has uh, balanced and single-ended outputs, and also the Pentagon 4.5 millimeter headphone jack on the front panel. So there are three jacks on the front panel, 6.3 millimeter, XLR, and the Pentagon. I have never seen that before. Now, oh, because of its studio heritage, the XLR outputs, the line level outputs on the back, are um, transformer coupled. That's pretty unusual. So Rupert Neve is, is British, but he moved to the US, I think in the 90s, and started this company, Rupert Neve Designs, in the 2000s. I may have gotten those numbers screwed up, but let's just go with the flow here. And they build, all of the Rupert Neve Designs uh, products, pro and now consumer, in Texas, in their factory in Texas. Um, now, look at this thing. It doesn't look like any other DAC or a pro piece of equipment for that matter. It has its own sense of style and design. And I think that that's really, really cool. That triangular wood insert on the top of the otherwise all metal chassis is that doesn't look like anything else. The grill on the top, the, the ventilation holes on the top of the chassis are not just slot holes. They're pressed into the aluminum top plate. And I have to say, I did notice that when I touched it or certainly stroked my fingers across those slots, that they rang like a bell. I went, ming! And, well, don't do that. Don't make them ring and they won't ring. But it's just kind of weird that that they do. I just, 
this seems wrong. It should be damped in some form or another, but they're not. Um, other little side issues that I was taken aback by were that it does not come with a remote control. Now, I used the, the, the Fidelis as a preamplifier slash DAC in my main system and also on my desktop. Now, in my desktop, I don't need a remote control because I'm sitting right next to the, to the DAC, that cool little red knob, which is the volume control. But when I'm sitting across, the, uh, across from the DAC in my listening room, not having a remote, well, I don't care. I'll get up and change the, the volume. But a lot of you, a lot of consumers, want remote controls. It's sort of expected nowadays, and the fact that the Fidelis DAC doesn't have that mm, might be a deal breaker for some people. Maybe I didn't mention the price. The price is $4,995. What does it sound like, you say? Oh, the sound. I should talk about that. Well, it has, to me, it has two sounds. Uh, it has the sound as a headphone amplifier, which I mostly used on my desktop. And I would say that sound is straight down the middle, neutral. And as a DAC, it is, I mean, as a headphone amplifier, it's pretty powerful. I use hard drive headphones like my uh, Abyss Diana Phi, and the hardest to drive headphone I own, the Hi-Fi Man Sus Vera. No problem, plenty of gain, enough juice to make them dance. <laughs> they, they had no problem. It had no problem driving those. And I use really easy to drive headphones like my Grado RS1s and my ancient Sony MDR 5000 headphones. It, it was very nice. And it felt like a studio product. It was neutral straight down the middle. But when I used it as a preamplifier DAC in my main system, the sound was more, well, more chameleon-like, or just changed. Like a lot of time I thought it was warm and full and rich, and then sometimes I would think, no, it's pretty neutral, it's right down the middle. And I, it kept moving. It was a moving target. I couldn't quite pin it down. One of the recordings I used was the soundtrack, Neil Young's score soundtrack for Jim Jarmusch's film, Dead Man. And it's a very, uh, ambient kind of score and there's guitar solos one of them goes on for 16 minutes and it's Neil just making weird noises or feedback and uh, with other sound effects thrown in it's pretty cool then there's spoken word parts but the but the overall feel of the of the soundtrack is that is ambient it it's not like a normal score um, and it sounded great it sounded huge open big very textured, a lot of space, really, really good stuff. So I very much enjoyed that. I know some of you are thinking, hey, Steve, you just reviewed the Denifraps Terminator DAC, which is $4,500. How does it sound? How does it compare? How does the Fidelis compare to that uh, Denifraps? Glad you asked. So here's the thing. The Denifreps is, hands down, more transparent, <laughs> more detailed, more textured, more dynamically alive than the Fidelis. But the Denifreps is just a DAC. That's it. Just a DAC. And the Fidelis is all those other things that I enumerated uh, earlier in this review. So it's kind of a weird compar comparison because it covers more bases. But just as a DAC, because that is, after all, what the Fidelis it primarily is, is a DAC, I would say it's, it's enjoyable, it's listenable, it's certainly got heritage. Man, I have a piece of Neve gear in my system. <laughs> That's cool. There's bragging rights connected to that. So I think we've done it. My name is Steve Guttenberg aka the audiophiliac and also the host your host of the audiophiliac daily show and today well what can i tell you uh come back often subscribe hit that that button right down there and you'll you'll know about every brilliant new episode as it arrives you gotta hit that little bell when you subscribe you'll have a thing that a window opens up and you can hit a bell and then you'll be notified 
You can also follow me on Twitter at Audiophiliac Man. You can follow me on Instagram at Steve.Guttenberg. You should check out the playlist. There's playlists for headphone reviews and amplifier reviews and DAC reviews and music reviews. Just endless. So many for your entertainment and maybe even education. So much to see. Hey, if you got this far, check out my Patreon at P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash audio affiliac. Thank you so much for watching.